Welcome to another episode of How to Play Monopoly. Making over mogul, got the whole world watching me. Try and teach him the game, show him how to play Monopoly. Pink cop and plexus, and I'm plotting. So, this is How to Play Monopoly. I'm your host, Antoine J. Dean, and today we're talking about buying your first property. See, look, when I just, like I said, this is How to Play Monopoly for a reason. I love Monopoly, so. This is like when the gang first start, everybody counting their money, and you, and you roll the dice, you land on your first property, and like, yep, I'm about to buy this. I'm gonna start collecting rent money. I'm about to build my empire, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, so listen, buying your first property, very important. This is what's gonna put you in the game. This is gonna give you a lot of knowledge. This is gonna, this is gonna, it's gonna boost you up. So the first step in buying your first property, I would say is, knowing what you want. And so you got a lot of people who say only buy this way or only buy this, only buy this, this is the best thing to buy. I disagree with any one of those, anything that anyone says. It's all very specific to your needs. You know, if you're a 35 year old man with a wife and two kids, you're looking at something different than someone who's 21, like I'm ready to live in the basement, whatever, whatever, for, for whatever it is. So I would say truly tailor it to your needs and exactly what you're trying to accomplish. It's different if you wanna have an Airbnb house, if you're looking for a place to live or whatever. So it's only limited by your creativity. So once you figure out what you want and you know that you're bankable, right? Be bankable. Watch the last, uh, we're, we're gonna put a link, take, put a link somewhere over here to the last episode Listen, you need to be bankable. If, you, if you're thinking about buying your first property and you're not bankable, please don't watch this video. There's no point in watching it. This, is no, this can't even help you because you, you're working on the other steps of how to become bankable. And what that is, is being in a situation where you can walk into the bank and the bank is gonna lend you money to buy real estate. Yes, real estate. Moving forward, so after you know that you're bankable, you know what you wanna buy, you go find a real estate agent. And real estate agents, they're specialized in different things, whether it's certain areas, whether it's duplexes, whether it's certain price points, there's a lot of different categories. So find someone that you connect with who is knowledgeable about whatever it is kind of property you're getting ready to buy. If you're looking for an investment property, make sure that they have some rental properties themselves so they can really give you those intricate details that you need to make a sound purchase. So. After you find, find a good real estate agent, you go out looking, you find that property, make sure you get a home inspection. Make sure you inspect that property up, down, left, right, roof, crawl space, siding, plumbing, furnace, everything. Make sure everything is inspected because a lot of people are like, well, buying real estate is risky because what if this happens? What if this goes out? What if this goes out? That's what the home inspection is for. That one reason is to know exactly what is wrong with the property and what's going on because it can help you make one of two decisions. It can tell you how to negotiate, right? Because a lot of the times, once you find these issues, you negotiate with the seller for them to fix some of them. And that's, that's assuming you want to move forward or it can, it, you can do the home inspection and it can tell you that this thing is getting ready to fall apart and you should have never walked through the front door, right? So get the home inspection. After you get the home inspection and you know what you're buying, you're comfortable moving forward, you in the money. Because if there are any issues at this point, you've accepted the issues, right? And you know you're gonna fix them or you're negotiating, but that's that's the whole thing, right? That's that's the whole thing. Because pretty much after you get the your home inspection, you get your appraisal, right? And that's someone coming out on the bank's behalf, making sure that the property is worth what the bank is getting ready to lend you. And so, that's basically buying your first property, but I'm gonna I'm give y'all a couple nuggets before I go out. So I didn't give you any details on what to buy for your first property, but I'll, I'll give you something for, for me personally. This is what I'm looking for, right? So if you've seen the episode, I think it's 18 or 19, we're gonna have a, the, the card up here somewhere. I bought a duplex, right? So the duplex was, I would call some part of partially a fixer duplex. And what a fixer means, it 
it needs work. So what that means is that I can come in and add value. I can come in, I can paint it, I can redo the roof, I can redo the interiors. That allows me to come in there, raise rent, raise the property value. I can get some sweat equity. So that means that right now, I'll say I bought it for 300, I could put 50,000 into it, and now it's worth 450. So now it's worth more. So if I wanted to sell it, I could sell it and make a little bit money. So I would say for those people who are looking for good deals on properties, it's all about being able to add value and force some equity. That's the whole game. You, you wanna make money, right? You in this to make money. You don't love real estate just to love real estate. I mean, you can, cause I love real estate just to love real estate, but I love real estate because I love money also. And then once you combine them, it's holy matrimony, right? At least for me. So buying, so I guess I'm gonna close out on buying your first property. So like I said, first, know if you're bankable or not, right? After you know that you're bankable, have an idea of what you want. Find a realtor. Once you find the house, inspect it, negotiate, figure out everything that's going on in that property. And then, you know, hopefully you're on your way to collecting some uh, some nice rent money. And we're going to close out on how to play Monopoly. <laughs>